Supporting the mental health of serving personnel, veterans and family members is important for the overall health of the Armed Forces community. This video provides an overview of themes and topics related to the mental health of those in the services and beyond. The Covenant states that the Armed Forces community should not be disadvantaged due to service. The percentage of regular Armed Forces personnel seen by MOD Mental Health Services is at 2.7%, which is lower than the 4.7% of the UK general population seen by secondary mental health services. Some mental ill health is service-related, and some is not. Some mental health conditions exist before an individual service career begins. After service, ill health may be related to other factors, such as age or life circumstances. The most prevalent mental health conditions diagnosed in serving personnel at MOD Departments of Community Mental Health, or DCMH, are adjustment disorders, for example feeling sad, anxious, or experiencing a lack of appetite, depressive episodes, for example experiencing a persistent feeling of sadness, and other neurotic disorders, such as generalized anxiety disorder. Research indicates that levels of probable PTSD are lower in serving regulars at 4.8% compared to a 7.4% in ex-regular veterans. Rates of PTSD in serving personnel and veterans vary between sources and depend on factors such as level of training, whether individuals have seen active service, and comorbidities. Most people leave the services with no ill effects. However, there is some stigma around the mental health of veterans, which can be a barrier to accessing support. This stigma can also affect family members who report similar barriers to help seeking. Further barriers to help seeking for mental ill health include fear of potential impact on career, perception of lack of support, lack of symptom awareness, confidentiality concerns, past negative experiences, and difficulty attending appointments. Support is available through the MOD and NHS. The contact group is a collaborative effort to provide care between statutory and non-statutory organisations. Veteran-specific statutory support is available through the NHS for veterans and their families. A new initiative, Operation Courage, will provide a single route to care through a collaboration between NHS England and the Office for Veterans Affairs. There are many charities providing mental health support for the armed forces community. Some charities and related organisations are part of COBSIO. Further information, which expands on this video, is available in the Mental Health Snapshot on the VFR Hub.